G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Arts channel. Here's the latest update on my Iconoscope camera project. Main work I've been doing since the last video is cushioning the Iconoscope tube as seen. So yeah, I've got a hold of some uh, some some uh, packing foam. That's quite cushiony. It's, it's firm but still cushiony. And yeah, I just put a couple of layers on and and uh, Arrow Dot super glued the, to a to the uh, some bakelite and Arrow Dot the bakelite to the to the uh, sides of the box. I had to do a bit of measurements uh, so I can work out where to put to put these uh, cushions because 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 the iconoscope tube comes up on a slant the the uh, metal studs or terminals uh, they will uh, pretty much get in the way get in the way of the or the cushioning will get in the way of them them studs when I when I put the tube in and take it out so I had to do a bit of Bit of strategic measurement, a bit rough, but it works. And uh, anyway, I've got it, got it nicely, nicely positioned, and the tube goes in and comes out. The previous uh, previous arrangement was I had had like a back plate and and two uh, two pieces of bakelite with the cushioning on it that that sort of like slide in slide in past the tube but yeah this is a much more simpler approach all right also on the back hatch i put three layers of cushioning on so it pretty much just touches on the back of the iconoscope tube and the tube's in quite snug as it is and this uh, will further prevent the tube from moving rocking forward or back that sort of thing well, the tube won't exactly go anywhere. It's it's firmly in by those two cushions alone. Anyway, that uh, adds extra extra cushioning to hold the iconoscope tube in place. And uh, yeah, as mentioned in a previous video, I had to extend the the back of the box because of that that uh, glass dike there. Because that I would have otherwise pressed against the metal and it would cause stress on the glass and ultimately fracture the tube. Anyway, this has turned out pretty good. In the previous video I forgot to mention I actually added a gaping hole in the uh, bottom or front of the box so I can put the put the uh, socket and wires through into the base pins of the tube so that's that's that done okay other other work on this iconoscope camera I've put some bakelite strips along the uh, front framework of the enclosure because the uh, the, the uh, box the hood here is just slightly a bit too big for the for the uh, framework here and there was a bit of gap I previously just bull glued some some uh, rubber strips to to uh, fill out the gap and I also added bull glue just to fill out any of the any of the any tiny bit of gaps left over to prevent light from going through that was a bit of a messy arrangement and I would have had to keep on doing it each time I take the hood off. So yeah, I opted for putting bakelite strips in instead. Rivered them in. And uh yeah, I'm gonna gonna fasten the I've got to, I've still gotta drill holes in the top here so I can fasten the the enclosure from the top. And yeah, that's pretty much about it for progress on this camera since my last update next things to work on is covering up my mess as I've um, as I had to make adjustments to where I position the holes for fastening the box the metal box I 
in the past, so you know, I had to sort of I had to move the holes over and it made it look quite messy. But anyway, I just put big big washers over over to cover them. And uh, where the uh, lens rack adjust the, the rack lens adjustment dial, um, I had to move the hole further back, and uh, it's made a big ugly looking gaping hole, which I'm going to have to what I'm going to have to do is just rivet a steel plate over it to cover cover most of it to make it look a lot more neater. Alrighty, now I've got to think of what else, what else I intend on doing to next with this iconoscope camera. Oh yes, um, next thing or next thing I also have to do is put some new mounts on the side here to put all my circuit boards. And of course, I'm going to have to make sure the circuit boards are well insulated and not at all touching the metal box. Well, the earths can touch the metal box, no, because the metal box is the earth, as well as the chassis of the of the entire camera. But but um, but only the earth, of course, and nothing else. So yeah, I'm going to put some uh, standoffs to to uh, hold the circuit boards on um, now I've got to work out where I can put the high voltage board because that's going to be a bit of that's going to be a real problem because there will because because I'm dealing with real because um, I'm dealing with real high voltages there will there's a there's a possible chance of arcing to occur so high voltage um, resistance adjustments so voltage, sorry, it's a high voltage voltage divider circuit here. So yeah, I'm going to have to work out where I'm going to put this and keep it well insulated, so no arcing at all happens. So otherwise, that will that will screw things up. All right, well that's pretty much about it. Those are the plans. Stay tuned for my next update on my Iconoscape camera project. This is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts channel, signing out. Oh, there's a couple more things I've got to mention. Yeah, I've, I need to uh, put shielding around the Iconoscape tube. Well, maybe I may not need to with this metal box, but probably would really help to further shield the tube. I know that I use this this um, foil strap that I made made a long time ago when I first built the camera. Although the problem is, is this won't fit around inside the cushioning, so I'm probably going to have to maybe use wiring to shield the tube. Because I know in the old photos they, of the Iconoscope cameras, what they did with shielding was wrap wire around these terminals here. These terminals, by the way, don't get used in the main function of the iconoscope tube. They're only used when uh, making the tube. But anyway, uh, but yeah, they so basically it'll be wrapping wire around these terminals and around the tube and then connect the wire to earth. So that's another thing I will, will have to do. Or maybe I can might not need to. I'll have to check with Richard Deal of Lab Guys World. And then again, as they say, you can never have enough earth and shielding. And the other thing I forgot to mention too is I need to drill a hole in the side of the metal box because I've got to run the the main video board to the preamp which was originally part of the main video board, but I've made the preamp onto a separate board to make it to directly connect to the Iconoscope tube, which, as you would have seen in one of my previous 
videos when this camera used to be when this uh, tube used to be in the old wooden box the uh, preamp connects to the to the uh, target output stud like so and so it just hangs off like like so and the wires go through the hole to to the main video board that's mounted on the outside so that's the other thing I have to do anyway that's it stay tuned for my next update on the Iconoscope camera project this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts channel signing out